the familiar walk and try another place this afternoon fishing has been extremely tough but we're going to try and work it out uh, we're going to head to the jetties to see if we can get some mangrove snapper or anything really but we're going to target mangrove snapper we got four dozen live shrimp two dozen bull minnows uh, some fresh dead shrimp so we got to walk all the way down here and all the way through on the end of those rocks we call fish or no eye? I don't know. That was Tizzy. Y'all all know Tizzy. This is what happens when you can't catch fish. Hey, why do seagulls fly over the sea? I don't know. Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. All right, so you on the rocks. That's uh, common morganzers. Yeah. Look like a mallard at first. They've got a little ways. Very, very hard to hold the camera still. This is the Jetty Rocks. Kind of treacherous. It's like you're walking on another planet. Not too bad if you take your time. But if you get in a hurry, you break your neck. But is fishing so we're going where the fish is at hopefully well we made it out to the fishing spot Toko and Tizzy still coming I'm telling you that's a treacherous walk it is not for the faint of heart I assure you after blue fish right now casting the spoon actually anything that'll bite it but we're targeting blue fish guy coming off as we was coming on said he just caught a, a few blues so if we can stay off the grass which i'm hoping we can maybe just maybe we'll catch something toss a spoon for just a little bit then we'll try mangroves with shrimp Let's take it slow. My spoon was on top of the water. Retrieving with the current. Hey, I take that. Huh? I take that. That knot, that was wind knot. I pulled out a bar today. Huh? That's bad. Yeah. A little slower retrieve. We're on the inlet side. The Gulf side is really, really rough right now. There's a, a strong southeastern wind blowing, or southwestern wind blowing, and it's piling the water up on the other side. Which don't mean we won't catch fish over there, just a little bit rougher. Should be more bait fish along this jetty over here on this side. Anytime you're fishing salt water, you fish the bait. Persistence, just gotta keep it throwing. I'm using cotton cordell casting spoon. It's kind of like a diamond jig. Got a 20 pound fluorocarbon braid. It's a 12 pound mono. No, that's four on this one as well. I've got this 
I've got this reel spun with fluoro. So make just a few more casts and I'm gonna start trying the mangroves. I love the mangroves, that's one of my favorite ones. They bite though. <laughs> we were sitting right down right down there last spring. I got a mangrove in. Trying to get the hook out of his mouth and wasn't paying attention and got the end of my thumb in his mouth and he got me with his fangs. Tori had to take a pair of pliers and, and get him off. It was, it was terrible. Alright, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna switch over fishing with live shrimp. See if I can catch some mangroves. There you go, Coco. In order to be legal, keep mangroves, we have to be fishing with those. A circle non stainless hook. Yeah, I don't know if that works. That works. Uh, put you on a bigger leader. I gotta keep my big leader on. First up was. I got some 30 pounds. Uh, Don't yank or you're using a circle hook. Well, Just lift. Alright, we finally fishing. Took a little while, but we are now. Hoping I'm out past the rocks. Okay. Fish on. No. It's a hardtail. What's the limit on those? Think on those? There is. There is, man. There isn't? No. They're not really a, a desirable edible. Hardtail. If you'll quit. Really don't want to get a hook in me this far out here. These guys are extremely slippery. All right, see ya. Fish. On the bottom. Looking for a mangrove. We know there's a bite. He's leading with it. Pick it up. Oh, that's lame. We got the green. one and get another one? There's a mangrove. Mangrove snapper. I don't think he's long enough. They have to be 12. And this guy looks like he's about 10. Do not stick your fingers in their mouth. I'm talking to me. Ten and a half. That'll be 12 inches. Total length. Hey, yeah. Those are extremely hard fighting fish for their size. That fish might have weighed a half a pound, and he fought probably like a, I don't know, probably like a two pound bass, probably. They just fight crazy hard. All you gotta do is get out past the rocks, hit the sand right on the edge of the rocks. 
Wait just a second. Broke off. To the head. Yeah. That fresh dead should work for this too. So if we run out of live, we should be all right. Up through the head, under the horn, in front of the, the, I'm guessing brain, right there. That's how you, that's how you hook a shrimp from mangroves. Just as before, you want to go out about 20 feet. Let it go to the bottom. As soon as it hits the bottom, be fish on or fish bite. Won't necessarily catch one every time, but there's a bite. Let him take it. I feel like he went in the rocks. I think he went on the rock in the rocks with me. Nope. This grass has been terrible. Huh? Steal it again. Oh, Steal it again. No, Over there in the bag. Huh? Yeah. That may be a that may be a sheep's head. This ain't a pinfish. <laughs> That's a good mangrove. I bet that's what I had on while ago. Yes, sir. Hold on, guys. I'll let you see me just a second. That's what I'm talking about. That's a the keeper there. See the teeth I was talking about? Imagine getting your thumb in that. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a real good one. Corey, can you get that stringer? That's what we come out here for right there. I bet he'll be 13 maybe. Oh, they gotta be 12? Gotta be 12. That's my PB for sure. There's one. Coco's got one. Is it good? One? Yeah. Not a keeper, but he's one. You think, Coco? They'll go with the mangrove on the board. These are fun fish to catch. Yes. Just do not stick your fingers in his mouth. Yeah, he's got like a little carry. Fish face. Okay, they are. They're bad. I'm gonna go half trip. Yeah, yeah. Go if he would tell little, they'll take it. Man, he will not open his mouth. I got that one day and I had to hold him in touch. Thank you. Like trying to take a stick from a little lab. 
He's out one. So like a good one? I don't know what that is. No, that's a, uh, they're edible. Can't remember the name of it. Yeah. I can't remember what they're called. We caught a couple out here last time. Uh, Flint Stringer. Tighten her drag, tighten her drag, Coco. Yeah, I've got my drag screwed up. Porgy, another good eater. That's what I'm talking about. I got a fish on. I just caught a mangrove on a shrimp head. So if they bite their shrimp in half, go back out. What's that cop that? Pinfish on all the It's good, it's very pretty. That's on a caper? Yes, it's caper. All of them are, all of them are? Is there a limit? No, not on those. Okay. Okay. It's going to take a little year to get out here. It's hard to keep up with it all. What's that thing that you just put in this now? Can't remember. Oh, can't remember what these are called. But they are very good eating. Oh, the bite has been good. This is fun. The bite is fast, which makes it even funner. Let's do a countdown on this one. Time I hit the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I just hit the bottom. Eleven, twelve. Before he caught a small mangrove. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There he is. Oh, I missed him. That's better than this. I know it. Toby needs to be out here. He followed Chris all, all day on bike this day and he can make cross the bike. Alright, let's see what happens here. I already know what's gonna happen here. Huh? Yeah. Big pin, that's a pinfish. Pinfish. You can look, you can probably find one. Look at the waves over there.
reeling in, it's hard to not want to stop them. Stop them. Get stuck. A triple ripple on the bottom probably catching right now. No, oh, boy, that was a hard hit. He's in the rocky. She tightened her drag up. Oh, that may be a keeper. Here, Coco. Gotta be 12. He's gonna be close. Look at, the, look at his back. He's like the fork. Uh. Can I take a picture with his portrait now? Even if he's not close. Oh my god. He's just got a... <laughs> Could be keeper. Not quite. Nope. Almost there. Except for the game warden, it made us at the wall over there. They're not all like that. He's gotten bit by something. What? Something took a bite of him. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Just a, just a few seconds after it hits the bottom. Huh? I can't hear you. I found a smaller circle hook. Whoa. Okay, I don't know. Oh, oh damn, flying. Killing me, Holmes. This sucks. Yes. Do I try to steal later? That they're biting so, so stinking good. Coco. Oh, Coco got another one of them. Or Corey got another one of them. I think I got? Yeah, I can't remember the name of them. Let's see if I make something crazy happen. What? Everybody tell me that. <laughs> what you got? That fish is going to eat all the shrimp. Hey. Corey. That fish is going to eat the shrimp. No, he won't. Corey's in this kick of catching giant pinfish. He's got a bunch of them. I'm all right with it. Yeah. Something's going after this bull, man. Huh? Something was, something bit him. Oh, you got a Yeah. Will blues hit live bait? Yes. Blues will hit live bait, cut bait, dead bait. They're kind of the green sunfish of the ocean. Got him? Togo just got a good mangrove. Good mangrove. Another keeper. 
I bet he will. I'll start Huh? Yeah, he's seen rods being. Yeah, Oh, when it felt slack. Pull in. I can get it. He's got one. Just keep him going. Keep him going. Raise up, reel down. Raise up, reel down. Let's see if I can get him out of the rock for you, and I'll get back to you. Real, 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 real fast. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's a pretty one. I'm gonna tell her on that burger. Don't let Fred see because he will attack me. You see this? Go. They lose all their color when they get big, don't they? Ah, uh, they're. Kind of yeah, or is I, it like a male and female thing? Are the males they're gray. Gray, they're gray snappers. I think they turn more gray when they get older. Got me a flatty. My GoPro camera died about the time I took this to him. We're going to throw him back and see if we can get a bigger one. They gotta be 14, he's probably 10. Pretty good for Huh? Corey, you got a fish on. There you go. Right here in the paint box, I'm coming in. Perfect. Slow it down a hair. We've blown through four dozen shrimp. We've done really good. We got a caught a bunch of mangroves. We got I think four keepers, which isn't easy to do here. You gotta be 12 inches long, and it usually takes some doings to get a keeper. Four dozen shrimp. <laughs> got some porgies, some giant pinfish. I don't, there's one fish, I, I can't remember the name of it. It looks like a giant bluegill. But we ate some of them last year and they're, they're really, really good. I'm hoping the blues are in here. Charter boat out here has got something pretty good size on. Probably a mangrove, I figure. It, it can be a chore. Uh, she's got a she's got a big mangrove. They didn't just get that off on purpose, did they? A big mangrove. We're packing up and this is catching fish. It's so big. It looks really long. In the water, it looks really long. He is kind of long. That was catching. That's a big one. All right, well, we're fixing to head out of here. We've had a good afternoon. Okay. I think 
I don't have a clue how many we caught. A bunch. But I'm satisfied. We will definitely come back tomorrow. Alright. We've been outside your our lane. Y'all go like and subscribe, please. See y'all later.